Hi, I'm Jia Hong. In this video, we are going to talk about noise robust end-to-end -end quantum control using Ori Regressive Policy Network, or IOQAI. This is joined with, with Paul Corrin, Hans Gulax, and Professor Lini, and Professor Mary Booker. First, um, about the background of quantum approximate optimization algorithms, or QAOAs. It was first up, uh, proposed by Fahi 2014 and was inspired by the quantum adaptive algorithms. Originally, it was to uh, get approximate solutions to the combinatorial stream optimization problems, such as Max Ha problem. And uh, it can also use as a, a quantum alternating operator on sets. So, yeah, the variational circuit or parameter quantum circuit are quite broad. And uh, the QA is just one very specific and simple answer. In this talk, we mainly focus on the problem of state transfer that is given an initial state, and you want to find a control to the target state. Here are several physical examples um, uh, in the state problem problem. So say the IC models and the Heisenberg models. And the initial states uh, usually are the ones are easy to prepare, say the all up state and the target state will be the ground state uh, for the Hamiltonian, target Hamiltonian you uh, care about. And the QAOA answer here is alternating between H1 and H2, H1 and H2. Um, the quantity we care about is uh, energy or fidelity. So the energy will be the uh, be the expectation energy uh, average by the m, and the fidelity is the overlap between the target uh, state and the evolved state. The optimization is basically minimize the energy or maximize the fidelity. One aspect of this study is uh, reinforcement learning. The reinforcement learning was first uh, introduced in this PIX paper. The, at that time, it was only the WQ learnings. Uh, the benefits of the reinforced learning is say, the first is the model free, so it can apply to different systems without changing the algorithms, and also adaptive, and it can automatically get the uh, decision for you. So we also notice the reason works using gradients, such as expand the gradient in terms of linear combination poly and use the important sampling to get the estimation. However, in this talk, uh, we are not uh, talking about that part, and uh, probably we will include that in the future works. Here, we only focus on the derivative free method and uh, some simple like a um, gradient-based method. The reward here is we didn't have the intermediate reward, and the reward is only given at the end of the episodes. So they you can give it uh, as uh, fidelity or minus the energy. Say we want to maximize the reward. When talking about the uh, reinforcement learning, you can think it is, it is like playing the video games uh, and trying to figure out the best strategy to win the video games. And uh, in our settings, or the IOQIOA, it is actually um, without looking at the uh, screen during the playing, because uh, the reward is only given at the end of the episodes, or in the content setting, uh, you cannot measure in in the mid uh, in the middle, and you only measure at the end of the episode. So you only know the reward at the very end, and uh, this is the uh, uh, hardness of the problem. And uh, but uh, you can think. Um, Think it's as you play the games uh, often and often, eventually you will figure out the strategies, even though you didn't look at the screen. The second aspect of the this state study is the counter diabetic driving. So, what is the CD driving? The CD driving, the goal is to introduce an auxiliary counter diabetic Hamiltonian on top of the original Hamiltonian. So in order to suppress all the transitions between the eigenstates, and the adaptive 
um, evolution is this. You, you consider the time-dependent Hamiltonian with the schedule lambda, and uh, you evolve with the Hamiltonian uh, Schrodinger equation. So the initial, this is the initial Hamiltonian, and uh, it's a ground state for when lambda is equal to zero, and you want to reach to uh, the ground state when lambda is equal to one. The real point for the CD driving is we we actually go to another frame. We go to the rotation frame uh, where the Hamiltonian remains stationary. So in this frame, we use a unitary transformation U lambda, and uh, U lambda diagonalizes the instantaneous uh, Hamiltonian at time t. So the wave function in that frame it satisfies this effective Schrodinger equations. And which is listed here. One the difference here is you have the, the actual term is lambda dot with alien lambda. So the a lambda here is the is the adiabatic gauge potential term. So um, we can say the Hamiltonian just to pick up the actual. Uh, contribution in that frame, the effective Hamiltonian will be the original Hamiltonian subtract uh, the new terms. And the idea of the CD driving is quite uh, quite uh, beautiful. It actually composites the original Hamiltonian with this actual terms, so that your in the moving frame, your effective Hamiltonian will be H0. So which will be stationary and no transition will occur. So in sum up, for the for the counter driving, driving, so you have the HCD equal to the original Hamiltonian uh, with these additional terms and also some some constraints. So yeah, how do you understand this? So here is a cartoon for like a better understand this. Uh, Concept, say, say a waiter wants to deliver water, and uh, want to deliver water with very high fidelities, also profits as fast as possible. So one constraint is the grass should be always vertical at the very beginning, and at the very end. This also corresponds to some constraints uh, before. So uh, in the adiabatic driving, so, which is showed in the figure A, that is you move slowly along the shortest path, and uh, slowly enough so that you can keep this tray vertical uh, at all the times, which means the, uh, the wave function will always the ground state for the instantaneous Hamiltonian. So the thing you want to avoid is you don't want to spit uh, any waters, which means you don't want to wave function go ex go to any excited state. So the idea of the counter damage driving is actually you tilt the um, tray. So say apply another like an opposite force uh, in order to tilt the um, tray, which is corresponding to you add the like a counter diabetic uh, gauge potential tends to to apply this force. So the benefit is you can move faster compared with the adiabatic evolution. And here I, I will also give you some concrete examples uh, for this counter battery driving. So say in the single qubit case when you have the z and x, so the gauge potential a will be y. So in the spin chain case, when you have the zz plus z and the x, the you, this gauge potential turns, you can expand it to the second order. It will be y and the y, xy and the zy turn. So this is inspired. So why we augmented? Why not we augmented the Hamiltonian? Uh, Base this from the two in the QLA settings to phi. So why we not consider this phi mode bam bam protocol? And here is we can augment its original H0 and H2 set 
to like uh, with the H2, H3, and H4. The problem here is when you augmented this like a uh, selection uh, choices, you make the problem harder because the searching space into number gates uh, goes exponentially, and how to uh, do the optimization it would be uh, like a hard problem. So here, the IOQAOA come to rescue. Yeah. Uh, at a very high level, the IOQAOA trying to problemize um, the autoregressive hybrid policy. That is, you decompose the policy into two parts, one continuous and one discrete. And for the objective, we also um, divide it into two parts and uh, consider uh, this. So, and you can refer to the detail in the paper. And the one um, thing is how you going to use this um, policy network, how to use autoregressive samplings. So here is the cartoon to show how to use. And first you go forward past the networks, you get the discrete policy and the continuous policy. You sample from that, you get the hybrid actions. Then you embed this action to here. And you forward past the network again, you get the prim uh, conditional probability for pi 2. Then you sample from this, you'll get the hybrid action A2. You go on this procedure, you'll get A3. And uh, furthermore, you can get A4 in the end. So now you have all the hybrid actions. You only need to aggregate all the like hybrid actions uh, together, and you get a reward. Say so this reward is typically given by a quantum like a simulators or the quantum device. You run the quantum circuit there and you get some reward. For in order to do the optimization here we apply the proximal policy gradients. So you get to get the feedback from the quantum simulators and now you use these feedbacks and use this experience to update the parameter here. And here also shows some numerical readouts. You can see uh, with the noise, with the different kinds of noise, say the classical quantum and the gate noise. The CD, uh, the IOQIOA beats the CDQIOA and also PGQIOAs, and um, it's remain. Um, yeah, remain like a high fidelity at uh, different cases. Besides the spin one half IC model, we also try on the spin one Heisenberg models. And uh, here, uh, there are some little details. Say the policy is, uh, we change to another kind of policy, say the beta distribution. And uh, it also works pretty good uh, in this setting. So a uh, little summary is the hybrid continuous uh, policy is, is given by this, like uh, given by this, like, uh, so this is also has the autoregressive property here. And uh, it is organistic to different physics source of noise and different physics uh, systems. And currently the uh, protocol sequence length is fixed. And uh, I think the, it can be like um, with a very simple like adjustment, you ca it can be versatile enough to to have the variable length just by adding a stop action. So when you and when the policy gives you a stop, you just stop there, and to, it will give you different lengths of particles. And to the summary of this work is we consider the discrete and continuous hybrid optimization. And it is both versatile and resilient to noise. It shows a greater performance can compare with other uh, method. Here is the PGQIOA and CDQIOA. And the generalized QIOA on sets is more uh, expressive and uh, go beyond the frameworks of QIOA. 
And here, we're not just uh, selected from a general pool of operator, but indeed it is based on the rational counter-diabetic theory. Uh, in the future, we are working on uh, to get uh, fair comparisons, as we mentioned before, uh, against uh, the gradient-based method in terms of query capacity and also extension to more advanced physicists and, and other optimization algorithms. And so we will also consider much more realistic noise models and implement this on the quantum device. Um, finally, in terms of machine learning, uh, we also think about whether we can apply much powerful neural network on sets, such as uh, new, a recurrent network or transformer networks. With that, thank you so much for listening.